The Profit Constructors presents Coffee and Construction Hats with Colleagues. Our host, Tanya Schulte, welcomes you to join in the fun as she gets to know her podcast guests. Find out who will be on the upcoming show and some of their favorite things. Well, this week on this episode of the Construction Junction podcast, I am happy to be welcoming Martha Yasso with Yasso Bookkeeping Services. And Joe Curlin with Steer Valley Plumbing, one of our most dearly beloved clients. So thank you guys both for joining us. Um, I just wanted to chat with you guys and find out a little bit about you. This is a great way. We love to do this because it's a great way to kind of get to know each of you on a more personal level before we dive in and start talking about our topic today. So I have a few icebreaker questions for you to just get the conversation flowing. So Martha, what is your favorite food? Ooh, my favorite fruit, probably chocolate ice cream. Nice. There's not much that's better than chocolate ice cream. Although I have recently come to like the chocolate ice cream that has the ribbons of peanut butter flowing through it. Eh, you spoiled my chocolate. <laughs> Are you not a peanut butter fan, Martha? No, no, no peanut butter. Although my son is all about peanut butter. Yeah. Reminds me of that old commercial. You guys might not know it you know, about accidentally sticking your chocolate in somebody else's peanut butter. Yes. yes, no, I remember that commercial. It's good. I love it. All right, Joe, what is your favorite food? I am a peanut butter lover, but uh, I would say, pe- you know, my go to uh, favorite would be pizza. Oh, nice. Nice. Toppings? No, Joe. Just- toppings? Send to the next party. Whatever. I've had it all. <laughs> There's a pizza well, place. She can throw everything on it. It's still good. So yeah. There's a pizza place here in town. Joe, do you guys ever go to Sardella's? We used to uh, order out from Sardella's a long time ago. They have right now what they call the Angry Hawaiian, and it has sriracha sauce, pineapple, Canadian bacon, and jalapenos. And it is so good. It does sound good. Yeah. Wow. Your favorite go to jalapenos and sriracha. Okay. <laughs> Double dipping on the heat, yeah. This is Arizona, so <laughs> we like it hot. All right, so Joe, I'm going to ask you the next one to start us off. What's your favorite travel destination? Uh, probably anything with a beach. Um, I, we've had a couple, of, well, I'm a diver too, so um, I mean, one of the biggest or funnest ones ever went, or the, Aubrey and I went to Belize. Well, actually, our family went to Belize, but Aubrey and I went diving at the Big Blue Hole, uh, which was phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. So, but anything with a beach, pretty much. Nice. My husband, also named Joe, we totally agree with that. He loves Ooh. the beach. I'm not a big beach fan myself, but that's okay. <laughs> Martha, what about you? So actually, my family were huge museum people. That said, my favorite place to vacation and like turn the world off is in St. Lucia. It's a resort called the um, Plantation Jealousy and they have those thatched roof umbrellas right on the beach. I don't like to get sun, but I just sit under that umbrella with a drink and I'm happy. So that does sound nice. Just the waves coming in and just relaxing, you know? Yeah. My biggest problem with the beach is all of the sand. Like, so there's like a whole sand texture thing going on. This like it's on my feet. <laughs> Just like oh, you could do big like boulder beaches. You could do well, well, not really beaches, cliffs. We call those cliffs. Yeah, and I wouldn't mind cliff diving. I actually that sounds like a lot of fun. I'd go do that. <laughs> All right, so Martha, tell us how you kind of got started in this career path that you find yourself on now at Yasso Bookkeeping. Oh, what? Well, I swore I would never do accounting or bookkeeping. I swore because my grandfather was uh, an accountant and I was the youngest grandchild and nobody else had gone for accounting. So I was the, the hope of the family. And so I said, "Mm -mm, no way, I'm going into economics. And I did that for a while, went into uh, finance and all, then had kids. And I got bored at home. You know, my daughter was two and I was getting ready to use this degree, but I kind of wanted to stay home. And I figured, 
I love technology. Look what accounting is doing. So I um, started using QuickBooks Online and did all the volunteer stuff. And then I decided I wanted to get paid for doing that volunteer stuff. And I studied QuickBooks Online some more and started asking people, okay, I'm ready to do some jobs. And I slowly built and built and built. And that kind of led me here today. But um, I, I really love what I do because I get to talk and experience with the small business owner. I had done the Wall Street thing where they were big companies and I was doing junk bonds, so we were ripping apart these companies. And it really just brought me down. Working with a small business owner really brings me up. Yeah, I think it's great because, you know, of course, the topic we're going to discuss on today's episode is cash flow and like cash flow modeling, how all that works within a small business. So to me, what's kind of exciting about what you just said is you sort of brought your economics and finance side of things to bear on what you're helping small businesses understand. And I think within the accounting community that you and I are a part of, that's a little bit unique. Like most of the rest of our colleagues in our accounting community came the same way that I did. We came from more of that accounting bookkeeping background into it. So you have a different side of things that you mm -hmm. were exposed to earlier than a lot yes. of us. That's fantastic. Joe, what about you? How did you get into the plumbing world and how did Deer Valley Plumbing come to be a thing? Uh, well, but it came out of high school. I, I knew way back when that I wanted to uh, work in my own company and do, you know, work outdoors, that kind of thing, construction. I was always mechanically inclined. I got started in it. Um, I was, matter of fact, it was in my senior year of high school, I think, and uh, my mom's sewer line decided to um, fail. So we ended up, I ended up, and my brothers ended up digging the, the thing up and replacing the piping and whatnot. And I was missing a part that I got, went to a local supply, not a plumbing contractor, I went to a local plumbing contractor, got most of the materials I needed, but I was missing a part. And I called him, I said, hey, I didn't get this. And one of the guys um, was out running around on a call, evidently, and he said, hey, I'm I can get it by to you while I'm in the neighborhood. So he brought it by him while he was there. He said, let me see what you're doing. And he walked back and checked it out. And he says, um, you want a job? <laughs> I said, That's awesome. What I want to do. <laughs> nice. So and it started from there. The rest is history. The rest is history. How long has Deer Valley Plumbing been in, been in business? Uh, Deer Valley Plumbing has been in business since 89. Nice. So 30, mm -hmm. so I know. Yeah, going on 40, I guess. Awesome. That's awesome. All right. Well, thanks, guys, for sharing with me a little bit more of your story. That's our little intro. I'm super excited to get into talking more about cash flow with both of you. So we'll be right back. Thank you for joining in the fun. If you would like to be a guest on our show, please email hello at theprofitconstructors.com. We'll see you in the next episode of The Construction Junction.